day three in and around Edinburgh, where in the 17th century, locals rubbed the burnt ashes of bird droppings on their heads to cure baldness. Not sure it'll be the next shampoo craze. And hoping not to have a hair-raising night tonight is IT manager and part-time stand-up comic, although more the latter, 30-year-old Ryan. I think I gave myself a hernia getting on the chair. Steady on, fella. You've got a long day ahead of you. My menu today was crafted by a uh, Michelin star chef, close personal friend, and uh, I've put my own little twist to it. I never created any of these dishes before in my life, but it's going to be fabulous! Fabulous! Looking at Ryan, I don't think he's a good cook, but, you know, life is full of surprises. I don't know very much about cooking. I make a really good fajita soup. I didn't know there was such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> the starter, smoked salmon with capers, shallots and homemade bread. I love salmon generally, so smoked salmon, yum. Unless he smoked his own salmon, I'm not really totally impressed with the smoked salmon because you can just buy it out of packet, can't you? Harsh, but accurate. We've got the smoked salmon here, which will be divvied up when the guests get here. Um, I got this smoked salmon from the shop. Why is that, then? Because that is where you buy smoked salmon. Ah, of course! Ryan's went pretty safe with this one. You can't go wrong uh, with smoked salmon out of the packet. Uh, so here's hoping he pulls the bread off. I think my bread went down quite well last night. Jamie asked me if I had made it myself, and I had. I said I had. So, um, I'm hoping that he's made his bread himself. We can but hope. Hiya. Auntie Do, it's me. Well, you'll know it's me because my name comes up. Yes, it does. Um, last night's bread was so good that I'm not going to risk making bread anymore. So, right. could you pop to that nice baker's in Portobello? and pick some up and drop it off because I don't have time. Whilst his auntie Doe runs around getting his bread for him, Ryan dices shallots and mixes capers. So I've never tasted capers before, but I'd imagine they're like an olive type thing. Um, not really things that I like, but I'll give it a try. Turns out you're not the only one. I've never tasted a caper. Is it too late to change the menu? Yes. To the shallots and capers, he adds garlic and chilli. Is that hot, Ryan? Yeah. Salt for luck. Over the left shoulder. That is a lot of luck, and I think you might need it. After a good stir, he sets aside to fry later. Like everything with Ryan, it's going to be one way or the other. He's either going to be an incredible cook, or it's going to be a bit of a bomb scare, I can't call it. <laughs> I know where my money is. Tonight I'm making a Michelin star meal, but I have absolutely no idea how to do it. With that said, he's just got time to put on a fish scale dressing gown. I'm ready for my guests to arrive. Whilst Ryan begins prepping his starter, his guests have a snoop in his room. Oh, my God! Is he in an egg? No, he looks like he's in um, that thing you shake at Christmas. He actually looks a bit like Vincent van Gogh. Doesn't he? <laughs> Do you think? I thought it was Vincent van Gogh to start with. I was like, is that Ryan or is that Vincent? Hmm. I, I'm sorry, I can't take Ryan seriously. Like, I can't, that's really beautiful. That's really beautiful, but I, no. It's a really great picture, but like, what is going on in that thing? Back in the kitchen, Ryan fries his capers and shallots. If I win the competition with a Michelin star menu, then it's basically like I won a Michelin star. Yes, I'm not quite sure that's how it works. After placing one slice of smoked salmon on the plates, he adds his capers. Looks absolutely divine. Time to start the winning night. Well, here it is, a slither of smoked salmon with a heap of capers and shallots. Bring on that Michelin star. 
my rainbow warrior. Oh, thank you. There we go. Here is the bread. We'll pop this at the top. Oh, oh wow. wow. Tear and share. Tear and share. That looks gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Wow. Wow. Babe. Homemade as well, right? Now, I must admit, mm -hmm. today I ran out of time mm -hmm. and I also did not receive the delivery of my bread maker. So this is from a little bakery in Portobello. Ryan said that he was going to make homemade bread on his menu. That's what it said, homemade bread. Shop-bought bread. Shop-bought bread. Cheat. Well, at least he fessed up. Love this. I thought you, you said you, you don't do spice, but mm. this do is... Do Yeah, this is a bit spicy and I love it. And um, smoked salmon is one of my favourites, so... Oh, good. Ask you a question. Of course you can. Did you smoke the salmon yourself? So the salmon already arrived smoked. In a packet. Did I smoke the salmon myself? What do I look like? Captain Birdseye? Oh, maybe in the early years. Speaking of lookalikes... In the bedroom next door, uh, Jill and I were having a cheeky little snoop. Oh, yeah. Mm. And um, there is a portrait of a very handsome ginger man looking... Do you want to see distance. it? Go get it. Go, you have to go get it. We'll go get it. It's... It's actually really beautiful. It's stunning. It's stunning. It really is. I think there's... Is that you? It's me. Boy in the bubble. In Nigeria, most homes and houses have a portrait of themselves. I mean, after I got married, my husband and I had portraits of us everywhere. <laughs> Get you! Well, I always wanted to capture an image of myself when I was young. And in life, I also kind of practised that. So I've had quite a lot of cosmetic surgery already, mm -hmm. even though I'm only 30. So I've had my lips done, I've had my cheeks done, I've had Botox from here up, so I can't really move my forehead. Why would you have Botox? You look good, you're amazing, you're young. Well, thanks, but uh, that's enough about me. Do you all, like, really cross face? Like, so, for example, you've gone, you've gone to the club and the bouncer's like, you can't, you're too drunk, you can't come in, do your cross face. Well, do you know, it's the same with Anna Winter. She has to tell people, I'm really angry right now. Because <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> Like I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his cross face. I mean, he just, the only way he can look cross is by shaking. <laughs> <laughs> he really does look like he's doing a poo. Like, he's just like. I mean, that's not how I look like doing a poo, but that's like, I can definitely tell that's how he looks like. He's doing one now. <laughs>